I just want somebody to know I'm ready to take you one-on-one. -on -one. I, got, I got skills, even at 42. Now, if you put bugs around your bed, just don't bring those in. You know, we've had a couple of scares with people. I found these around my bed. No, no. I'm going to be doing the dance, as you know, first. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't want to. Why don't you do it? Go and get Jerry to do it while he's sitting there doing nothing. I'm Jennifer Garza, FCS agent for Prairie View A&M University Cooperative Extension Program. Each day is different, you know, for agents. To get ahead of Houston traffic is quite a challenge, so you have to actually leave early, oftentimes going to your site an hour to an hour and a half ahead of time. Here in Harris County, I actually work with uh, excellent um, other fellow agents, both in AgriLife and Prairie View A&M University Cooperative Extension Program. Good morning. Hi, Steve. Hi, Ms. Ravonda. Good morning. Good morning. Ms. Ravonda Brown is my administrative assistant. All right, Ms. Ravonda, if you could just kind of type this up for me and put it in a report, I would appreciate it. Yes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And um, you always appreciate that staff that is there for you. She anticipates my needs. She keeps me going. For the evaluation, where, what, what place was it? Was it, uh, which, was it at the... It was at Weekly Community Center. Oh, okay. And I'll be heading out uh, for the day. I'm going to go out to Richmond, Fort Bend, jail. Okay? okay. Thank you. We'll see you later. Okay. Bye. Today I'm going to meet with the chaplain at the Fort Bend County Jail. He set up this program. It's an ongoing program for women. Initially, when I started working with the jail system, I didn't know what to expect. I've learned to earn the trust and respect of anybody that I've worked with, inmates or otherwise. Hi, Ms. Cora, how are you? Good to see you. Always good to see you. And the women that are in there want this information because a lot of times what's going on and what gets them in the situation that they're in now is, you know, what happened in their childhood. Well, look who's here. How are you doing? Good, 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 good to see you. You got my list for me? Oh, hey. All right, thank you. Been busy, been good. Even though I'm just talking about the different parenting styles or talking about what we need to do for our children, you can kind of see their emotion. And they're there because they want to be there. They're not mandated to go to these parenting classes, but they want to change. The Salvation Army uh, women are down on their luck. It's a residential uh, facility, so they actually live there with their kids. Hi, I'm Jennifer. Uh, I'm here for the parenting class. Everybody ready? Yes, we are ready. It's a real good class and the clients really enjoy that. Thank you. The Salvation Army does provide educational services for them, whether it's life skills or career skills, and they've even had Dress for Success out there, so they're definitely trying to get these ladies back on their feet. Hi, Ruby, good to see you. How's it going? I'm good, ready for another parenting class. Oh, great, well, hey, I'm telling you, our residents really enjoy it, and they're getting something out of the class, so keep doing what you're doing. I am glad to hear that. Yeah. So you ready? Yes. All right, cool, let's go up. So we need to change things up. Am I right today? We need to change. Can I raise my child the same way that I was raised back then? Because back in the day, if you were like me, we, uh, I'm the control, the clicker. Who was the clicker? Anybody in here a clicker? Yeah, I'm a clicker. So if I was sitting down and, and mama says, Jennifer, would you please change the channel? How many of you would go, no, I don't want to. Why don't you do it? Go and get Jerry to do it while he's sitting there doing nothing. Exactly. Now tell me why that is. Why would that happen? Because I love my life. Thank you. Okay, we, I don't know about you, but we had some creative parents. We definitely can't do beat downs anymore. Some of the talented moms like mine could be driving, and this is one of the things that I said, talk about the beat down, where if you have a child that talks back to you, you know, she would just smack them back and forth and then keep on driving. She had no problems. Let me ask you, did, did your mom ask you what you thought? When you were growing, this is what I'm saying. So what they say is that in research is that, you know, doing that, not that it'll eliminate all the rebellion, 
but some of it because you've established that relationship. How many of you as teens remember, I just want to be heard. You know, I just want somebody to listen to me, ask for my opinion, you know, act like I can think for myself. And this is what we're doing in this class, to be more independent, have confidence, high self-esteem. When we're down on our luck, we don't want to be out in the forefront to let everybody know some of the difficult times that we're uh, enduring. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for coming and participating. I truly appreciate that. I'm Jennifer Garza. I'm with Prairie View A&M University. And today we're going to go over co-parenting and divorce. And really, in essence, it talks to us a little bit about how we need to manage our anger. And it's a lot to do with conflict resolution. This is ridiculous. Open the door. This is my time with Rachel. <coughs> We talk about how we can, you know, not get put in those types of situations and what we can do to alleviate any conflict that may arise. Uh, you could tell right away when you come up to the door that he was already in, in that attitude mode. What he said or done to die now. The daddy's like, go get her. I want to leave. Like, you already trying to start something. If I know this woman's not going to let me open the door and let me have my child till 6 o'clock, what can I do? Wait. 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 Until it's time. Until it's time. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here today. Uh, Y'all were engaged. I loved it. And participating and answering questions. And I hope that y'all learned at least a little something today. And I hope to see y'all again next week. Thank y'all. And that's what I really enjoy about this curriculum. It is exactly in line with what we want to do uh, for the community and, and having those transferable skills for our students to prepare them for work. Welcome to my world.